Hi, and welcome to a demo of the Ngati chatbot. Today I'm going to demo two features called Human Takeover and Live Chat. These two features allow a customer support agent or admin to take over the conversation and deal directly with the chatbot user. There are a couple different triggers for letting the admin know that they should log in and take over for the bot. The simplest comes from the default message path which is executed when the bot does not understand the user's query. Along with a simple message to the user, an email can be sent from within the platform to the admin or support agent. Once an email is received, human takeover or live chat can be used to handle the situation. I'll start with human takeover, which is available starting with the professional plan. On the Ngati platform, Navigate to the Users tab. Here you can see a breakdown of all of the users and the platform that they used to access the chatbot. Once you identify which user needs help, click on the profile to open their chat history. Click on the switch on top to turn the bot off for the user and start helping the user from within the same page. As you can see, from the chatbot perspective, the switch is seamless. Once the issue has been resolved, turn the switch back on for the bot to behave normally. This is human takeover. Now let's move on to live chat, which is available starting with the business plan. Live chat has a couple more triggers since it's used via a path. From within the default message path, you can trigger the live chat path after the email is sent. Another trigger is available from within the users tab. You can click live chat directly here. You can also trigger it through FAQ analytics. For a particular query, you can click live chat and take over for the chatbot. You can also trigger live chat through an FAQ. You can say a phrase like, I want to talk to a human and trigger that particular path. Let's try it out. I can go back to the bot here and type the phrase, I want to talk to a human and be presented with the standard live chat reply. Now that I have a trigger and I understand that a user needs help, I can go to the Customer Support Request tab. Here I get a breakdown of all users who require more help. I can click Respond and be taken to a page where I can view all the conversation history between the user and the chatbot. The same switch is also provided and it's automatically turned off. I can jump in and say I'm here to help. And once the issue is resolved, I can click Mark Resolved, at which point the bot is automatically turned on for the user. You can also navigate to the support dashboard to be provided quick statistics about each of the live chat requests that are coming in. You can track the average response time as well as the total talk time for your support agents or bot admin. You are provided with a chart or a table to see how many inbound requests you have, as well as a statistic to determine how many chats are handled to make sure that none are missed. You can also see all the different agents that have access to the bot admin, see how many chats they've handled and how efficient they are in handling it. This was a short demo of Human Takeover and Live Chat. Stay tuned for more updates and videos that show the features of the chatbot. Thank you for your time and I hope you build bots on Ingati.